Hey sis, let's chat. What about your friends? You're gonna wanna send this video to all your friends cause today I'm going to talk about how to be a supportive cloth diapering tribe member. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay girl, have you ever had a daunting idea but a vision that you were so excited about and you couldn't wait to tell your girls only to be met with side eyes and questions and a trepidatious, okay girl, we've all been there. We all know how important it is to have a supportive village, God squad, friends, tribe, whatever you call it. It's so important because we are often energized by the energy and the feedback that we get from our friends and family, or we can easily be deterred and discouraged based on that same energy and feedback. We want those around us to co-sign on our mom ideas, and that tacit disapproval can definitely be disheartening, especially with cloth diapering. Along the way of every big decision I made or project that I've taken on, I can remember specific girlfriends who amped me up properly for the journey ahead. Whether it was breastfeeding or getting into cloth diapering or even starting this channel, I've had girlfriends that have pushed me, encouraged me, and that support has meant the world. For example, even with starting this channel, I know that if I don't get any other views, I'm gonna get three views on my videos. My sister Jalise, my cousin Lara, and my girl Lori are always gonna hold me down for a good thumbs up. With cloth diapering, it's no different. We want that validating support. We want those positive vibes thrown our way. So today's video is not for the prospective cloth diapering mama. It's for the aunties, the moms, the grandmothers, the mother-in-laws, the friends, the cousins, anybody who is inclined to side eye a cloth diapering decision. Girl, go ahead and send them my video. I got you covered. Today I submit three ways for you to be a supportive village for a cloth diapering mama. The first way that you can be a supportive cloth diapering village member is to react lovingly to her choice. We all know sharing with your girlfriends is a huge deal. And y'all, we know the difference between constructive reasoning and shade. So if you want her to tell you more about what brought her to this choice, no problem. It's okay to be curious, yet a simple, oh really, what brought you to that choice? With a smile, with a warm heart, would go a long way in getting her talking about this choice. Before you jump to the snide comments about poop or how old this technique is, make sure you hear her out and give her space to share with you. Encourage your girl just like she's encouraged you on all the big life decisions that you all share together. Plus, if you have never cloth diapered and you do not know about handling poop, you are in no, zero position to offer any advice on how to handle poop. Bloop! I guarantee it's not what you think. The second way to be a supportive cloth diapering village member is to help her prep. Just as any new mommy will be gathering all the little baby items she needs, cloth diapers will be on the menu. So I suggest that you spend a girlfriend day with her. Help her wash the baby clothes and wash the diapers and get them ready for baby's use. Similarly, another sign of support after baby arrives, y'all know mama is tired, but you wanna go over and see the sweet little baby and cuddle and give mom a break. When you do, it's pro level support if you ask her, can I wash a load of diapers for you? Mom will love this. This is definitely showing you support and you're engaged in her cloth diapering journey. But I will warn you, ask her first. She may say no or she may give you specific instructions for how she washes her cloth diapers. Either way, mom will be so thankful you asked and maybe you took something off of her list. Mamas be tired, y'all. The last tip that I have for you for becoming a supportive cloth diapering village member is to buy cloth diapers once she has requested them. Yes, no, 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 no. I know you still wanna buy Pampers, but honey, don't do it. Don't waste your money and don't make her roll her eyes at you. <laughs> if you've ever hosted a wedding, you know that thoughtful off registry gifts are welcome and they're usually met with a, oh, you shouldn't have. 
People generally want what they ask for and cloth diapering is no different. So if she wants cloth diapers, just get the lady what she asked for. In 2021, it's become a whole lot easier to buy cloth diapers. There are registries now. You can add them just as you would add any other baby item to a registry. You can also buy them at many, many, many online stores, including Amazon. Cloth diapering can be perceived as being expensive, especially the upfront cost of it. However, if cloth diapers feels and seems out of your budget as a gift, it's no problem. Trust me, I got a good tip for you. Please do not shift back to disposable diapers. Do something like maybe buying one diaper off her registry or getting her one cloth diaper, or you can even support her by buying more cloth diapers that are maybe cheaper than the ones she asked for, but it's still adding to her stash. There is no harm, listen to me, no harm in buying one single diaper. Diaper by diaper is how you build a stash. You don't have to feel like you have to get her mountains and mountains of diapers. If buying one single diaper troubles your spirit or you don't feel like that's an adequate gift, pair the one cloth diaper that she asked for with something else on her registry, maybe something else that you feel like is a practical baby gift or something that she can use. Pair those together for your gift to her. Purchasing cloth diapers is a maximum show of commitment to her cause. Trust me, mama will be appreciative when she gets her diaper, plus you helped her build her stash. It's a win-win. In sum, being a good supportive cloth diapering village member is easy. All you have to do is react lovingly, help her prep, and buy cloth diapers. It's that simple and it will go a long way in your friendship relationship with the mama who's decided to cloth diaper. Being a supportive villager should never feel like a daunting task. It's as simple as being empathetic just as you would on any other topic your mommy friend brings up. Of course, choose your words wisely when talking to pregnant people. <laughs> Do a little research and respect her wishes. Who knows, you might learn to like cloth diapers too. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Make sure you share this video. I want this one to be a good one too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have you had trouble with your village already? Are you nervous about telling them? Let me know in the comments below. I wanna hear about your experience. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss a video and you'll be the first to know when I upload. And also head over to clothcuties.com where there's more information to help you simplify your cloth diapering experience. Bye guys.